when I was four and a half. I was looked after by my uncle. It didn't feel right what was happening. I didn't understand it entirely. So that I just pushed to the back of my mind. And then when I was nine or 10, it was happening at the hands of my stepbrother and my stepmom. Around 20 to 30,000 people across Avon and Somerset would experience rape or sexual abuse. And unfortunately, only about 15% will in fact report that to the police. It can have lifelong psychological, physical and emotional impacts. Somerset and Avon Rape and Sexual Abuse Support, or SARSAS, supports anyone affected by rape and sexual abuse. In the rural communities, we are the only therapeutic service for survivors of rape and sexual abuse. And we are working out of GP surgeries, carer centres, trying to make sure that people don't have to travel too far to get the support that they deserve. If you're a survivor, it's very difficult to know where to seek help. The work that SARSAS has done has been to address that so that there is a single place to get advice at the level that they need it. We have a brilliant counselling and support work service and then we also do some excellent group work programmes where we might talk through what's happened. And some of those groups, like our art workshop groups, are where you don't have to talk at all and you can let your creativity do the talking. Our SOLACE project runs across the whole region and in partnership with Sexual Violence Services in Bristol. Anyone who's experienced rape or sexual abuse in the last 12 months will usually come through for their counselling and support. SARSAS made it so much easier to talk about those things. You get this sense of empowerment as well because you're not letting those people who have hurt you have any control over your life anymore. One of the things that we need to do is to change the culture around rape and sexual abuse. And the only way to do that is to start talking about consent. Pause, Play, Stop is that workshop that we bring to schools to really talk about what healthy relationships look like. There is a chilling silence still around the rape and sexual abuse of older women. And we really wanted to let older women know that we are here for you, whether you've experienced rape 60 years ago or in the last few years. My whole life I'd wanted to be a writer. I thought, if I can write stories as an adult, it'll cancel out everything that I'd been avoiding for years. But inside I was broken, and the SARSAS started to build me back up again. We do really try and shine a light on taboo subjects. One of the projects we're doing in partnership with Rape Crisis England and Wales is around sibling sexual abuse. Also, we know that the World Health Organization has said that women with a disability are twice as likely to experience abuse. So we were the first in the Rape Crisis England and the Wales Network to launch the one-to-one -one support service for women and girls that had lots of complex issues in their lives. SARSAS really does recognise the nuances of communities here in the city. So the range of support that they have put in place it is absolutely brilliant. I am very confident in the services that they provide. We've been commissioned by Public Health England to expand our Survivor Pathway website across the whole of the South West. If you're a GP in surgery, you can find the service that's going to best meet your patient's needs. SARSAS are experts. They encourage, they challenge. We're very, very fortunate to have SARSAS as a partner. Hope is stronger than your fears. And once you're given that, which is what SARSAS do, then you know you're going to be all right.